My name is Daria. Mimic Sue, better known as DJ Mr. Rabbit, is the one behind the fashion show soundtracks for Acne, Roxandre Lincic, Marika Tranzo, and Topshop. With the 10 years in the music industry, she publishes a Parisian music magazine, sound designs for fashion films, and produces show music for the trendiest designers. We met Mimi just before the Topshop Full Winter 2013 show, where she gives the final touches to the show soundtrack. So it's not going to be like dark or complicated, it has to be kind of uh, uplifting. You have to come to the Topshop show and leave with a smile. The whole collection is based a little bit on the, uh, the British um, music scene from the 90s. So that's why we use a lot of that, that, that music of the era. Um, it was very much based on the working class of the 90s, the Manchester scene. So the music needs to reflect that era. Mimi, let's start from the beginning and discuss the process of creating sound for the fashion show. Do you usually receive a brief from the designer? Basically, they, I go and I'm meeting with the designer and they explain to me the inspiration of the collection. I, I see the mood ball, I try to understand what they want to express with that collection and I try to reflect it in music position. And sometimes it has to be obvious, sometimes we should not be obvious. We do the, exactly the opposite of the collection because otherwise it's too obvious. So the fine line, you have to find that just fine line to make, make the show interesting with the right music. Which designers are the most keen on music? Marika Tronchu was very keen on music. I like work with her, working with her. Richard Nichols is very keen on music. He's got a very um, eclectic um, taste. And I mean, Katie Emma has got a good music taste. Mu in a much more um, poppy, girly, top show way. But they always have really great proposition of songs and stuff. So we, uh, yeah, everyone's different. Some designers have very gutsy taste, then you can do really a lot. And some designer, you, for instance, last season, I remember I used a lot of hip hop and I had to edit a lot of swearing. There's a lot of swearing in contemporary hip hop, so it was really difficult to take all the bitches, the fuck, and the, all that out. It took me hours. Music has always been my passion, so I went, started working for labels, started DJing quite soon after. And a few years later, everything kind of come together the fashion, the music. Soundtrack can bring a real dimension to the show. It's the icing of the cake, let's say. Show you my new top shop shoes. Of course, I can't walk around with them. Wow. They're amazing. This season, Mimi has created 10 soundtracks for different fashion houses, from New York to London. After such an intense regime of work, she manages to look fresh and uber stylish. No wonder Mimi's personal style is a topic of discussion in many fashion magazines. How do you think your work has influenced your style? Fashion for me is more like an everyday thing. Um, it's instinctive. It's not, I don't think about it too much. In the morning I wake up, I would go... I would start probably with my handbag. My handbag would... I would define the handbag and then the outfit's gonna come with the handbag. So the handbag is the most important thing for I you love, I, I, I have a big collection of handbags. And handbags is something that I'm obsessed with. It. Not so much shoes, but handbags. The handbag can lead me to the whole outfit. When fashion magazines do fashion stories with you, do you prefer to style them yourself or to work with a stylist? I, I usually prefer to do it myself, but I also like to have input on some other, 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 other stylists because I don't have time to pull clothes. So I can work with stylists and tell them the brand I like and then we work accordingly. I have a quite defined style. I'm not a very girly girl. So I might sometimes make, uh, wear a dress, but the dress has to be quite structured. I'm more tomboyish kind of person. A performance, it has to be a little bit more extraordinary um, because people, it's a visual thing, so you have to, you have to entertain people. Um, when I'm every day, I don't feel like I need to entertain, so I like to wear casual. But wearing a good casual is not easy. People do luxury very well, but people don't do casual very well. Why so? Because casual demand taste. Because you want to wear, you want to dress down, but it's still good. That demand taste. You wear expensive clothes, it's easy. Anyone can look good. But it's when you have to work with the casualness, this is where your sense of steady come in, uh, come in, uh, in, in handy. Less is more for me. Less is more with a dash of more. 
saw that people really liked the music they were like yeah because because it was a 90s um, it was a 90s theme and we had choices to make less obvious um, so make tracks a little bit more you know not, not so many reference but we decided we're gonna really really underline the 90s and use the 90s soundtrack that we love and um, you know that reflects the, the, the British British 90s so the Smiths and the Tiani, it was just a, it was a very happy soundtrack. You have to be very open musically. I spend a lot of time every day listening to music and finding new music and collecting music and buying music. So it's a very um, it's a very nerdy job. The total iTunes here, and that is just this computer. It's it's like 63 days of uh, music. It's in my head. I have my order. It's classified by. Uh, genre, BPM, style, because I DJ a lot as well. Some music, are, some playlists are for DJing, some for uh, sound design, some for some for fashion. Some, you know, there's a, it's very uh, disciplined. It's like a library. Very frustrating when you know the song and you can't find them. That's very annoying. It's like a nightmare for you, I think. It's like clothes. You know, you want that pair of shoes, you can't find it. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Definitely. You know, as a girl, you know, like, oh my god, of course, of that's course. the only shoe they're gonna go with this dress, and you can't find it. That's the same with music. <laughs> so, my god, this song would do so well, but what is it? What is it? Frustrating. <laughs>